With gas prices soaring to all-time highs and some states averaging nearly $6 a gallon, there's no better time to go electric. But many people are hesitant to buy an electric vehicle because of two main concerns. One, they worry about high upfront cost, and two, they worry about range anxiety. So in this video, I'll go over the top 10 best electric vehicles with the longest range that are all under $50,000 and that you can get right now in 2022. Now, before we get into this list, keep in mind that the prices for all these vehicles are the starting prices after factoring any destination fees and before any tax credits or incentives. If you're in the US and owe at least $7,500 in federal income tax for the year, then you should be able to qualify for the full tax credit, which most of these vehicles are eligible for, plus any additional state or local incentives or rebates based on your location. Now, another thing to remember is that some of these vehicles can possibly come with an added markup cost if purchased from a dealership, depending on the inventory and demand. So the final cost could fluctuate or change depending on when and where you are buying it. And finally, this list is not sorted by price, but rather it's sorted by range. I wanted to start with the lowest range first, then move along to the longest range vehicles. So let's get started. The first vehicle on this list should probably have an asterisk beside it because although the government views this as an electric vehicle, it's not a fully electric vehicle. It's actually a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle or PHEV and it's the Toyota RAV4 Prime starting at $41,000. Now the reason I listed it is because it is a fantastic deal for a certain type of customer. If your budget is less than $40,000 and you aren't quite ready to go full electric yet and want to be able to fill up with gas if needed, the RAV4 Prime is only about $34,000 if you qualify for the full tax credit. It has a small battery that allows it to go 42 miles on a full charge, so if you have access to a normal power outlet to charge it at home, and if your normal daily driving is no more than 40 miles a day, then you can get by with the RAV4 Prime and not buy gas during your normal daily driving. But for longer trips, it does have a gas engine that kicks in when needed, and this hybrid combo gives it about 600 miles of combined total range with a 94 miles per gallon equivalent, which is quite impressive. It also comes standard with all-wheel drive, so if you live in a region that gets snowy winters or you just want the benefit of having all-wheel drive, this is the most affordable all-wheel drive electric vehicle that I could find. It's an SUV with an ample amount of seating and storage space, so it makes for a great family car, but it's definitely not for someone who wants a fast, high-performance SUV like the other fully electric SUVs on this list. The plug-in hybrid system is more complicated with more moving parts than a purely electric vehicle, but Toyota does offer a good warranty for it. And another good feature is safety. The 2021 model was a top safety pick, so the 2022 model should be similar. Now, I heavily considered buying this vehicle for my wife because it's literally $30,000 cheaper than the Tesla Model Y when factoring in the full tax credit. So if you are on a tight budget and want all-wheel drive, and aren't quite ready to go fully electric, then the Toyota RAV4 Prime is probably the best option for you. Next is the most affordable electric vehicle on this list, the Nissan LEAF S Plus, which starts at just over $33,000 and can be as low as $26,000 with the full tax credit. Now, I chose the S Plus model because it comes with 226 miles of range, which is about 75 miles more than the cheapest base model, even though 226 miles itself is not that impressive, thus explaining the low price. However, it's still enough for most people's daily driving needs. Until the Tesla Model 3 came along, the Nissan LEAF was actually the most popular all-electric vehicle for years, so it's had a long successful run. It's a five-door compact hatchback, but it's still quite roomy on the inside, it won't impress you with its acceleration compared to other EVs on this list, but it makes for a great commuter car with a 62 kilowatt hour battery that results in about 108 combined miles per gallon equivalent. Now, the biggest disappointment with the Nissan Leaf for me personally is the charging port that they use. At home, it can be charged on either a regular 120 volt or 240 volt outlet, which is great, just like any other EV, but for fast charging on road trips, it uses the Chatamo charging standard, which is inferior compared to the better CCS charging standard that most other EVs have adopted, which gives faster charging and the connector itself is much lighter and easier to use compared to the Chatamo. Now at a Chatamo station, the Leaf S Plus can be charged to about 80% in about 40 to 45 minutes. 
and Chatamo stations are not as common as other DC fast chargers such as CCS and Tesla superchargers. So obviously this isn't the best vehicle if you're taking a lot of long road trips away from home, but if you want a reliable electric car with a decent amount of range for your daily driving needs and want to spend less than $30,000, the Nissan Leaf S Plus is definitely worth considering. Next is the Kia Niro EV, which is a compact crossover SUV that starts just above $41,000 and as low as $34,000 with the full tax credit. It sports a 64 kilowatt hour battery pack that can go an EP estimate of 239 miles on a full charge. And like all EVs on this list, it supports level one charging, which is 120 volt on your normal power outlet and level two charging, which is 240 volt. But the Nero EV's public DC fast charging is probably its biggest downside because the DC fast charging is limited to 77 kilowatts. So it can charge up to 80% capacity in about an hour and 15 minutes, which is longer than the Nissan Leaf on a Chatamo charger. So as you can see, as we go through this list, charging speed plays a big part in the ownership experience. And usually the cheaper the car, the slower the max DC fast charging speed. Nonetheless, the Nero EV does come standard with a 10.3 inch touchscreen display with split screen capability, along with a voice command navigation system, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and a wireless phone charger. It also has Kia DriveWise driver assist technology with automated emergency braking, blind spot monitoring, and lane keeping assist and follow assist. It also comes standard with heated seats and has 53 cubic feet of cargo room when the rear seats are folded down. And a highlight for Kia is their industry leading 10 year 100,000 mile warranty. Overall, the Nero is not a bad EV choice at all for its low price. Now next is the best looking vehicle on this list in my opinion, and it's the Ford Mustang Mach-E Select, which is a compact SUV that starts at $45,000 and goes as low as 37.5 with the full tax credit. Now the 70 kilowatt hour standard range battery has an estimated range of 247 miles on a full charge. It is one of the more impressive new EVs to hit the market recently and even won the Editor's Choice Award and EV of the Year Award by Car and Driver. Now, I've seen a few of these around my city and the body style definitely grabs your attention. And it's not just the outside that is sleek. The interior sports some of the latest tech, including a 15 and a half inch vertically mounted center touchscreen, along with a 10.2 inch digital instrument cluster with enhanced voice recognition and connected built in navigation system. Ford is also following Tesla's lead and will roll out over the air software updates over time to constantly improve the system and add new content. Now, other top features include Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, a mobile Wi Fi hotspot, and a Bang & Olufsen audio system. It also comes with Ford Copilot 360 driver assistance system, including blind spot alerts, lane keep, automatic emergency braking, and adaptive cruise control. Now the Mustang Mach-E has the fastest DC charging up until now on this list compared to the previous vehicles with charging rates up to 150 kilowatts using the popular CCS charge port and Ford says the standard range pack can charge from 10 to 80 percent in about 38 minutes. It's one of the higher performing EVs on this list with 266 horsepower and a zero to 60 speed of 5.8 seconds. It has 29.7 cubic feet of cargo space behind the rear seats and 59.7 cubic feet with the rear seats folded. Plus there's a 4.7 cubic foot front, which is nice. And overall, this is a stylish yet useful electric SUV for a relatively affordable price that is sure to turn some heads. Now next is the Hyundai Kona Electric, which is a compact crossover that starts just over $35,000. And this is the cheapest electric vehicle on the market with at least 250 miles of range after factoring in the tax credit, which can bring it down to around $28,000. It has a 64 kilowatt hour battery with 258 miles of estimated range and shares its platform with the Nero EV, which we talked about earlier. Now for such a low price, it has a decent interior with an eight inch color touchscreen display with six speakers and Sirius XM HD radio, along with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and a 10.3 inch digital instrument cluster. It comes with similar driver assistance features as the Nero, including blind spot monitoring and lane keeping assist and follow assist. It also comes with an industry leading five year basic warranty and 10 year powertrain warranty. Now, the biggest downside is its size. The Kona is relatively small for a crossover measuring in at just 165 inches. It's only one inch longer than a Chevy Bolt, which is known to be small, and it's 22 inches shorter than a Tesla Model Y. It does have six way adjustable driver seats and 60 40 split folding rear seats, but with the seats folded down, it has 14 cubic feet less cargo volume compared to the Mach E. 
Now for faster charging on road trips, it can charge up to 100 kilowatts, which will charge it from 10 to 80% in about 47 minutes. Now, if you're looking for a super affordable long range EV and don't need a large vehicle for passengers or cargo, the Kona EV is a great option for people on a strict budget. Now, according to Consumer Reports, a person can typically save up to $10,000 over the life of an EV compared to a gas-powered vehicle, and I'm personally on pace to save about $25,000 if I keep my Model 3 for six more years. And do you know what I love to do with all that savings? Invest it, but not in the traditional way you'd think. I'm looking for alternative asset classes with uncorrelated returns, and a recent JP Morgan report stated alternative assets are no longer optional. In light of this, certain platforms have come along giving access to the top alternative asset classes. And there's one in particular that seems like a no-brainer to me. It's today's sponsor, Masterworks.io. Masterworks has solidified itself as the platform for investing in contemporary art, and they make it super easy to invest in some of the most valuable art pieces from iconic artists such as Picasso, Banksy, and more. Now, the best part is with Masterworks, you get access to the same art that billionaires typically invest in, but for a fraction of the cost. About two thirds of billionaires allocate between 10 and 30% of their overall portfolio to art, not only to diversify their portfolio, but to also battle inflation, which we all know has skyrocketed recently. Now, art prices actually outpaced the S&P 500 total return by 164% from 1995 to 2021, and art has shown to be the least correlated to the stock market out of nearly all major asset classes. The Masterworks research team analyzes over 60,000 data points to find financially attractive works that they believe will appreciate in value. Then they acquire paintings ranging from $1 million to $30 million and securitizes them by filing a public offering with the SEC. And all you have to do is invest in whatever you like. And their track record speaks for itself. In the past two years, Masterworks has sold three valuable paintings with each returning over 30% to investors. If you want early access to Masterworks, click my special link in the description below to bypass the waitlist and start investing today. The next is the Polestar 2, which is a four-door hatchback with the proportions of a sedan, but the ride height of a crossover, and it starts at $47,200 and can be just under $40,000 with the full tax credit. It gets a respectable 270 miles of estimated range on the standard front-wheel drive model. Now, even though it has 231 horsepower, the Polestar 2 has one of the slowest accelerations on this list with an unimpressive 0-60 speed of 7 seconds, but you can upgrade to the all-wheel drive dual motor model for just $4,000 more, which will actually make it the quickest accelerating vehicle on this list with a 0-60 speed of 4.5 seconds, but that will also bring the range down to about 249 miles. Now, I actually spent a few hours with a Polestar 2 last year, and it's a really nice car to put it simply. It gets its upscale inspiration from its parent company, Volvo, and it's probably the most luxurious vehicle on this list with its futuristic design and solid fit and finish. It comes standard with heated front seats, 19 inch double spoke black diamond cut alloy wheels, an 11.2 inch center display, and it's the world's first car with a native Android automotive operating system running Google software that boosts a user-friendly interface along with Apple CarPlay 2. It has a nice array of driver assistance features, including collision avoidance and mitigation, forward collision warning, lane keeping, and post-impact braking. It supports DC fast charging up to 150 kilowatts, which matches the Mach-E. Now, the biggest downside, other than the slow performance, is that they upsell a lot of extras that will quickly push the price up. So, for example, if you want their 360-degree camera with more driver assistance features like adaptive cruise control, which is usually included on most of these other vehicles standard, it'll cost you a few thousand dollars extra. Nonetheless, this is an attractive hatchback sedan, so if that's more of your style instead of a crossover SUV, definitely check it out. Now, next up is the most expensive car on this list, and it's also the only true sedan on this list, the Tesla Model 3 rear-wheel drive, which starts at $48,440, and it's not eligible for any federal tax credit at this time, so this is the price you get. But on the bright side, there's no dealer markup either for a Tesla because they don't use dealerships. You just order online directly from Tesla. Now it has 272 miles of estimated range and is sporting a brand new LFP battery pack that Tesla specifically uses on their single motor vehicles. So you can charge this to 100% daily without any negative effects on the battery, unlike most other EV batteries, which can only be charged up to 90% for daily driving. So with this Model 3, you should be able to get maximum range all the time. Of course, I own a rear-wheel drive Model 3 myself, and I've driven mine over 100,000 miles during the past four years, and it's honestly the best product I've ever bought and the best car I've ever owned. 
It comes standard with Tesla's driver assistance system, Autopilot, which is probably the best driver assistance system available today, in my opinion, and enables the car to steer, accelerate, and brake automatically within its lane. Now, Tesla's software and tech are top notch, and it shows because the Model 3 interior is super simple and minimal, with most of the interaction done on the 15 inch center touchscreen display. Now, the car frequently receives free over the air software updates that makes the experience even better over time. And one of the best features is the access to Tesla's supercharger network for charging on road trips. This car automatically guides you to the most convenient superchargers along your route using the built in navigation system, and the chargers are super seamless and simple to use. Plus, this is one of the quickest 0 to 60 speeds on this list, matching the Mach E at 5.8 seconds, and it's one of the fastest charging vehicles on this list with a charge rate of up to 250 kilowatts on any of Tesla's V3 superchargers, even though most superchargers are currently V2, and V2s currently allow up to 150 kilowatt peak charging rate. Either way, this Model 3 is a Tesla at the end of the day, which is the EV leader, and you can't go wrong with it as long as you have the budget for it. Next is what I'm considering to be the best all around EV for most people, and it's the Volkswagen ID4 Pro, which is a compact SUV that starts just under $42,000 and can go as low as under $35,000 after the full tax credit. It has a 77 kilowatt hour battery pack with an estimated range of 280 miles on a full charge on the rear wheel drive pro model, which comes standard with VW's IQ drive advanced driver assistance system, their discover pro navigation with 10 inch display, heated front seats and heated steering wheel, wireless charging, 19 inch alloy wheels, and all ID4 models come with a 5.3 inch digital gauge display and voice recognition capability with Apple CarPlay and Android auto. It also has one of the most spacious cargo volumes of 64.2 cubic feet with the rear seats folded. Now the roomy interior paired with its five star safety rating makes this a fantastic family vehicle. Now, other than its interior, the other highlights include good range for the low cost and a quiet, comfortable ride. The ID4 was also voted one of 2021 Ward's 10 best user experiences, earning the award with its futuristic cabin design. Now, the exterior features a clean aerodynamic style and it has a peak fast charging rate of 135 kilowatts, which can regain 70 miles in about 10 minutes of charging. Now, the biggest downside of the ID4 is its performance. This is the slowest accelerating vehicle on this list with the rear wheel drive model's zero to 60 speed of just 7.6 seconds, which is far less exhilarating than most other EV competitors, but it's still relatively quick when compared to traditional gas powered crossovers of similar size. Now, if you're looking for an aesthetically pleasing crossover SUV inside and out with a respectable range, comfortable ride, but you don't really care about quick performance, the VW ID4 is a solid choice. Now, next is my personal favorite vehicle on this list because it excites me the most and it's the best bang for buck EV since it's the cheapest EV on the market with at least 300 miles of range. It's the Hyundai Ioniq 5 SE rear wheel drive that starts just under $45,000 and can be as low as just above $37,000 after the full tax credit. It has a 77 kilowatt hour battery pack and goes an estimated 303 miles on a full charge. Now it's not on the quickest end of the compact crossovers, but the zero to 60 speed is respectable coming in at just under seven seconds, but it's mostly the futuristic design and its latest technology that gets me excited about this car. It comes standard with a hands-free power lift gate, artificial leather upholstery, ambient interior lighting, a heated steering wheel and wireless charging. The interior is very tech centric with a 12.3 inch touchscreen that shares a panel on the dash with another 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster and includes Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well as voice recognition technology. It features a head up display with augmented reality that can project navigation directions on the windshield, which is really cool. And the best features though, in my opinion, are the ultra fast charging and better handling with more interior space, which is a result of Hyundai's new electric global modular platform. Now, the completely flat floor allows for maximum passenger and cargo space. The front seats also recline and have footrests. It has ample front and rear seat passenger room with a total of 59.3 cubic feet with the seats folded down. And with its 800 volt architecture, its peak fast charging rate is 350 kilowatts, which is 100 kilowatts higher than the second fastest charging rate on this list, which allows it to go from 10% to 80% in just 18 minutes when charging at a 250 kilowatt or faster CCS charger, such as those found at Electrify America charging stations. It also comes with a nice set of driver assistance features, including blind spot avoidance assist, forward collision avoidance assist, lane keep and lane follow assist, and more. 
The only potential downside is the exterior styling. It's very futuristic to the point where it could turn certain people off, like my wife, for example. She hates the look of the Ionic 5, which is a shame because if she even remotely liked it, I would probably buy this for her. But if you don't mind the bold tech savvy design, this car is packed full of features, usefulness, long range and fast charging for a great price. And it would be a fantastic electric car for nearly anyone. And taking the top spot with the most range for under $50,000, it's the Kia EV6 Wind Edition, which is a compact SUV that starts at just over $48,000 and can go as low as under $41,000 with the full tax credit. It can travel a whopping 310 miles on a full charge with its 77 kilowatt hour battery pack. It's very similar to the Ionic 5, given they're both based on the same EGMP platform, and they both feature a tunnel-free flat floor. However, the EV6 has a much less polarizing exterior styling, featuring a more traditional design with more curves compared to the sharp retro angles on the Ionic 5. Now, the EV6 has a similar interior as well with the same 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster and 12.3 inch touchscreen infotainment screen, an augmented reality head up display, rotary gear selector on the fixed floor console, and it has a similar 0 to 60 speed as well, coming in at around 7 seconds. But it's not as spacious as the Ionic 5, with the EV6 only providing about 50 cubic feet of storage with the rear seats folded. Now, my wife and I actually test drove an EV6 last month. She drove and I rode in the passenger seat, and I wanted to love this car so badly. And although I was impressed by the fit and finish and ride quality, we just weren't super impressed with the subpar infotainment compared to my Tesla Model 3, and it definitely felt smaller than I expected compared to a Tesla Model Y. However, the biggest turnoff was the additional dealer markup, which made it the same price as the Model Y, which we have on order. However, it still boasts one of the best warranties and it comes standard with driver assistance safety features, including blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, adaptive cruise control, and lane keep assist. And of course, it has the same ultra fast charging capability as the Ionic 5, gaining about 217 miles of range and about 18 minutes of charging on a 250 kilowatt DC fast charger with the ability to hit 350 kilowatts peak. Overall, this being a five seat crossover with over 300 miles of range, along with its attractive design and having some of the latest EV technology, I don't see anyone regretting their decision to buy an EV6. That wraps up my top 10 electric vehicles for under $50,000 in 2022. The question is, which one are you getting? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech and EV videos in the future. My name is Andy. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.